Hello, Loveland Magazine readers. This is Cassie Mattia, the food guru, and I am standing here with the legendary Rick Morgan, um, one of the owners of the Loveland Dairy Whip. It is a legacy. It's been here since 1955. I'm standing right next to a legacy as well, right here. There wasn't a sign since 1976. They went ahead and put that in in 2014, a nice banana boat sign, and that's why we're right here on West Loveland. Kind of busy, but this is why it's so convenient, right, Rick? That's right, yes. Now, Rick, let's get into it all. Okay. There's so much history behind the Loveland Dairy Whip, right? So, started July 8th, 1955. We'll go through the rundown, and then I'll let you speak about it a little bit. Okay. New owners in 1965, right? Flint's which Teresa Flint, your wife, now yes. Teresa Morgan, um, bought the LDW in 1972, sold it in 1986, and then they were like, you know what, I'm coming back in 1993. And then Teresa became the official owner in 2001. Yeah. So Rick, tell me all about this. I mean, this is awesome. Um, we were speaking before this, and this is one of the longest standing operating businesses in Loveland. Like, how incredible is that? Tell me a little bit about your story, about how you got into this, and just the history in general. Sure. So, uh, Teresa's parents uh, bought it when she was 12 years old. She was actually uh, bagging hamburgers. We used to have the best hamburgers in Loveland uh, because this is the only place to go in Loveland that was like this, so for uh, fast food. So, anyway, they uh, uh, had it had it through, uh, I've lost track already, but it's okay. when my wife turned uh, 18, her and I married. I took her away from her mom. Uh, I was in, in, in the Navy for uh, <laughs> eight years. Right. So uh, she struggled with uh, her sister was, or Teresa's sister was um, uh, having kids. Okay. So her mom struggled with having help. Right. So she sold it to a, a young gentleman, um, the, the business, not the property. And then uh, anyway, we got back uh, about 12 years later and uh, the business became available. Uh, her sister, Rita Flynn and Mike Jones, and myself and my wife, we bought it uh, from those folks. Um, and then uh, fast forward, uh, we bought them out, Mike and Rita, about five years later. And then eventually we bought the property. And I know you go go into construction, but that's kind of why that construction happened because we had, everything was ours at that point, Teresa's. So, um, and one other point, I guess it, it, it is Teresa's. Uh, she's kind of gun. She's kind of gun it shy. Is yeah, it is. It is hers. Uh, but she she don't like interviews, so that's why I'm doing this. But hey, that's uh, fine. I give her all the credit because for 40 years I was in IT, and she ran what she likes to call IC. So there ice, you go. Ice cream. So there you go. Yeah. There so it go. is Teresa. So yeah, absolutely. Now, now, Rick, the cool thing that I thought I don't know I thought this was kind of neat is that like you said, Teresa was flipping hamburgers at 11. Yeah. She was doing the thing right. So they used to sell, and they were called fifth wheel hamburgers, oh, they were right? The best, yeah. And um, you know, obviously, you don't serve food now; it's more ice cream. But I just want to know, and I'm sure the community wants to know. Tell us a little bit about the fifth wheel hamburgers and that time. You know, it was the '70s. Hamburgers are cool. You know, yeah. let me know a little bit about that. Yeah, I was a little bit before my time. I was a young, Amen. but I was Amen. working uh, at, uh, at the gas station down right, the street here. Right. So I would come on Saturdays to get. Uh, fifth wheeler so they were like huge my understanding they were really large so um, but what happened was um, it was I think it was Burger Chef first come in town okay so once fast food start coming in the food business dropped off so right um, and when we we had food when we first opened uh, when my wife and Mike and Rita was with us um, but we saw so much ice cream it just slows us down so we decided not to do any food at all so we're all, all ice cream now which makes sense because that's why people come here, right? They have all the restaurants downtown in Loveland, like right. tons of family operated businesses down there. And this right. is where the dessert is. Right. So it makes sense. So what I want to talk about is what you were just about to go into 2014 yeah. intense remodel. Right. You know, you had an expanded parking lot, yeah. right? An added picnic area. You had an added new cooler to the exterior. Yeah. Um, Lots of other things, a longer drive through queue, which helps so oh, much <laughs> in this area, right? A new work area inside for the drive through yep. right? Dedicated to that. And of course, the new road sign that's behind right. us. I love that sign. <laughs> I love it too, seriously. Yeah. Especially how it's kind of 3D, yeah. how that banana yeah. boat's popping out a little bit, which is a legacy on the menu, the banana boat. Yeah. I know that's a huge one. Yeah. So tell us a little, about, little bit about 2014 and how that went for you and how that remodel, I'm sure it was stressful, but obviously, I mean, business yeah. is booming. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. So my background is project management, and I, like I said, I was in IT, so I kind of handled all the different contractors. Um, but at that time, um, you don't, probably don't realize it, but the Dairy Whip 
is on three different properties now. So that's why I had to wait till 2014 when we purchased all three properties. Her parents owned them all, but they were some. Uh, we had, to, we had to go through that, so that that's that's why that happened then. Okay. Uh, because it actually needed it sooner than before that. It was it was in uh, pretty bad shape. Right. So, um, um, yeah, um, I had, it wasn't a lot of difficulties. We we took out the, the back wall. Right. Huge wall to put the uh, walk-in cooler because we had a small walk-in cooler where our new uh, third station is now. So, okay. Um, that's where that was. Um, I don't know. It was just, it was a fun thing because everything was just every. Time something got done, it's like oh, it's that much closer to being finished. And right. It was a lot, much, much, lot more nice. Sorry, a lot it's nicer, okay. a lot nicer. So now with that, Rick, you know, of, of course you have priorities with project management, right? Yeah. Which one out of all those renos would you say was the proudest, or I would say the one that made the business just go above and beyond? Which one would you say out of all those projects? Well, it had to be the blacktop because we expanded the blacktop. We right. had we had partial. Oh, it was uh, partial was blacktop. Got a large <laughs> big truck. Here we go. <laughs> uh, the the blacktop was just falling apart. We just couldn't get customers in, and right. uh, it was so small that we, you know, we were losing customers because oh, they're too busy, so they just went by. So uh, just expanding. So I doubled the parking lot. Um, awesome. Um, and the, the blacktop, so. Right. And obviously I love the signs. So. Yeah, the sign's incredible. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, with that, we did want to mention that um, the hours right now for Loveland Dairy Whip are two to nine for the time being. And the last weekend open is at the end of September, just so y'all can come out, celebrate, get your ice cream before you go back to school, play football, all that kind of thing. So we want to let you know about the ice cream menu because that is what's important here at least for me i love ice cream yes i'm vegan but i'm not gonna lie sometimes you just got to get that real ice cream and that's at loveland dairy whip right so your go-to flavors you have high quality soft serve you make it right in front of your eyes that is awesome i mean most people let's just scoop it out of the container no right. we're gonna make it right in front of your eyes so your go-to flavors vanilla chocolate the twist cone yep. right yep. um sundays you have googly eyes for the kids yes. You have dip tops. Dip tops are my favorite. Oh my gosh. Chocolate, cherry, cake batter. Yep. Talk to us a little bit about your traditional flavors and why they're so popular. Well, the, we use a premium ice cream, like you said, and uh, most places don't do that. It costs a little more. Yep. But it is, I have lots of people tell me we're the creamiest in town. So Amen. Um, it sells itself. Um, so that's why we have uh, that premium. We pay the extra. So right. it's much nicer. Um, uh, just the, the traditional flavors? You want to talk about the other ones too? Or? Yeah, what would you say traditional wise, so like the vanilla twist, that kind of thing, what would you say out of those three is the most popular? I lo always love to know is vanilla chocolate oh. more popular? Is vanilla popular? Is chocolate popular? Which one out of all those three? So we sell more vanilla. Vanilla. Because uh, the Sundays, the Cyclones, all those start with vanilla. Okay, gotcha. Um, so it's just automatically we sell more. But I'll tell you, when I go out in the trailer, I don't have all the extra, I don't have a cycle, I don't have a shakes. Right. Um, it's almost even uh, between chocolate and vanilla. There you go. So, yeah, it's it's a, it's pretty 50-50, you know, it, with the exception of Sundays, it makes right. it more. So. Right. See, there's your question answer, guys. Chocolate and vanilla, it's 50-50. There's not <laughs> one or the other, okay? So now that we got that nailed down. So let's go into the popular ice cream flavors, right? You have the Blue Moon, mm -hmm. the Dream Sickle. The cake batter. Talk about your cyclones and parfaits. Obviously, those are your two wild creations. Sure. How do you make a cyclone? How do you make a parfait? Which ones are popular? Um, so the cyclones is basically um, a lot of ice cream with uh, like two or th two scoops of uh, candy. Ooh, um, yes. So then you just uh, you just uh, make it like a shake. You just uh, spin it. You know, um, parfaits. They, they're mostly all three layers, some of them are two layers, but okay. it's uh, either vanilla or chocolate, more vanilla than chocolate. Right. Um, and depending on what you like, uh, like we sell a lot of turtles, which is the two caramels, mm. and uh, chocolate syrup. Love the turtles. We sell a lot of chocolate mountains, which is all chocolate, with chocolate pudding and chocolate or hot fudge. Chocolate pudding? Yeah, chocolate That's pudding. That's excellent. Yeah. Wow. Um, ETs, uh, I can't name them all. There's four or five that are always popular. I oh mean, yeah. You know, we sell them all, but uh, those stand out. So. What's your favorite? I am actually not a parfait favorite. I'm a strawberry shortcake favorite. Ooh, okay. I like strawberries, so that's okay. my favorite. Which now, is now is that a cyclone? 
or that's that's uh what we call a special dessert it's okay. a it's a sundae but it has a cake in it Ooh. so we have hot fudge cake we have a hot brownie cake okay we have strawberry shortcake Excellent. hot caramel cake all the cakes are made by uh, Dessert Works, which is a local uh, bakery, and I'll give her a plug. Um, then no, we, supporting local, excellent. Yeah, we heat we heat the brownie up before we put the ice cream on it, and it gets whatever uh, topping it is, hot fudge or whatever. You gotta have the heated brownie. That's right. right. So when I was kind of looking, I did see that the, you know the popular ones. If you guys want something to try, right? Like you said, the chocolate mountain, mm -hmm. uh, the Reese's, Reese's, the Oreo, and black raspberry chip, fan favorites. No problem with black raspberry chip. We can't get black raspberry chip anymore because I don't know if it's COVID or what, but they, they've changed the lids and my wife refused the, she sent it back because it wasn't quality. So for this year, this year only, we hope black raspberry chip is not available. But the reasoning behind that is you wanted to stay to your model. Yes. Quality, yes. right? Yes. See, I love that. Yes. That Thank you for telling us that because that is excellent. That just shows what kind of business you run, right. to be quite honest with you. Now, uh, Kids Sundays, yes, they do have those as well, yep. right? Stuff for the yep. kids. Tell us a little bit about, you know, if you're a child coming up, you know, with your family, what do kids order? What can they have? Uh, we have the Little League, which uh, if you can look at our windows, we have lots of kids that actually collect the Little League. So those, oh. that is really popular. Okay. We have a space cone which is uh, basically an ice cream cone with eyes, ears, no nose, and a mouth. Oh. And we have a clown, uh, which basically has eyes and nose, um, and it has whipped cream that makes it look, look like a clown. Uh, I'm missing one. Gummy. Gummy is really popular. Ooh, gummies, yeah. yeah. I've so. seen a lot of kids with that one. Yeah, yep. yeah. What about the doggies? I know there's tons that come here yeah. getting something, just something. I would assume it's vanilla, maybe a scoop of vanilla or whipped it, cream. or. It's basically a really small, uh, it's a, it's a small cup okay. with, uh, we put uh, the bone on top, depending on what size they are. The bone. Yeah. Um, and then uh, then we ask them, uh, and she's got a full window, uh, my wife, she's got a full window of uh, pup cups with the dogs enjoying their ice cream. So we ask you to send, send us a picture so we can put it up. So. Amen to that. Oh, yep. I love that because obviously I'm a fur mom, so you know how that goes. Um, so. Like he was saying, you know, the kids' Sundays, right? You said the hot fudge brownie, the strawberry shortcake, hot caramel cake, the shakes. Let's talk about the banana boat. Okay. Obviously, it's on the sign. Yes. Let's talk about that. What all goes into that? Obviously, bananas. Yep. Tell us a little bit about it. Yep. It, uh, standard one is uh, vanilla, but you would actually get chocolate or twist if you requested it. It gets a dollop of uh, pineapple, uh, chocolate, and strawberry, um, nuts, and whipped cream, and a cherry on top. We sell a lot of that. Yes. Yeah, it reminds me of the Beach Boys for some reason, you know, <laughs> like a banana boat. Um, now, I do want to mention the mini LDW, right? Yes. It's almost like a little mini ice cream truck. Yep. You can do graduation parties, events, that kind of thing. Tell us what kind of things that you can do and how people can book you or reserve it. Okay. So on the website, we have a, a form you can fill out. That's the easiest thing. That gives me a little bit of information. Um, I'm, I'm pretty booked up, so I have to always check the dates to see if I'm available. Right. Um, but if I'm not available, I'll send you my information. I have a pricing, uh, basically an event application, which has all the pricing. Um, I do have a minimum. Um, I have two options. I have a cone-only option, which is the cheaper option. Okay. Um, it starts at $310 for 50 cones. You have to buy at least 50. Okay. And then every 50, I charge a little extra for however how many cones is sold. Um, and all these urts is basically... Um, I don't want to say everything in the mini because we don't have parfaits or cyclones. Right. And I'm sorry, we do have parfaits. We don't have cyclones and shakes. Right. Um, but that, so that's a higher price, but I do the same thing. If you, you buy 50 minim, minimum and then every 50 it goes up. So, um, okay. Now, and where, how do they get a hold of you on through the website? They email you or yes. is or there a contact info you want to give out? The contact information is there too, but okay. it's rick, rick at the ldw.com. Okay. Awesome. Uh, email me there and I can, I'll respond. All right. Cool. Okay, Rick, I love to do my little quick fire at the okay. end of interviews. It's just quick questions, one or two word responses. Okay. Let me know how you're feeling about your business in the future. So okay. first question, Rick, where do you see LDW, your family, Teresa, yourself in five years? In five years? Yes. We may be in Florida. <laughs> Woo, let's go, yeah. let's go. So yeah, um, we're looking down the road. Okay. Five, five to ten years of, of selling so we're looking for somebody um not immediately yeah but, yeah but that's where we will be hopefully, maybe somebody hopefully. within the family yes yes yeah excellent hopefully yeah yes awesome but yeah i love to hear that um going along with that 
Is there anything new in the works over the next five years before the Florida trip, right? Is there anything you're going to add? Any thoughts or ideas in the works? I don't think so. We've added a lot in the last 10 years. So right. um, as of now, I probably not unless something spectacular comes up. But yeah, we've done about everything we can to the property and and expanded to the many. So we're, we stay pretty busy. <laughs> awesome. Another question. If you are a first time customer, right? Mm -hmm. You go out to eat, yep. you come down here, you see this. What should you try first? Well, it depends on what you like. That's what I always say. Of course. Um, but the turtle, turtle is usually covers a lot because it has caramel and chocolate. Um, if you don't like chocolate, I would try my favorite strawberry shortcake. Um, if you want something plain, we have the plain cone too, small, small vanilla. Right. So we have it for everybody. I do want to mention too, are you still cash only? We are cash only. Okay, and I lock. want to mention that because that, I want people to get their product, right? Yes. Bring the cash, yeah, right? We, there's a lot of feelings about that, but we say cash only because uh, we keep our prices lower and it allows us to have a par more premium ice cream. So right. that's why we do it. Plus our employees love it because they get great tips. So we have great customers. They take care of our customer, uh, our employees. My wife does a great job of hiring good employees. Mm -hmm. And I, I love our employees because they sell our business. I love that. Appreciating those who work for you. Obviously, they make the business. Yep. So final question. I want you to look into the camera and tell Loveland why you love having your business here. Oh, just what I just said. I, we love it because it's great customers. My wife is from Loveland. She lived in Loveland. Any time of the day, if you're in here, she'll be talking to somebody from Loveland that she knows or even not from Loveland. We have lots of people from outside of Loveland. But um, I do it because my wife and I love the Dairy Whip and we love our customers. Amen to that, guys. So listen, if you're going out downtown next few days, this weekend, next weekend, whenever, before the last weekend in September, you got to come down here afterwards and get this legendary ice cream. Like I said, one of the longest standing buildings and businesses in Loveland. You got to check it out. Loveland Dairy Whip. This is Rick Morgan, one of the owners. Teresa Morgan's his wife the original owner <laughs> right thank you so much rick thank you i appreciate you coming out today and let's sell some ice cream right Sounds good thank you thank you very much awesome we'll see you later loveland